hello and welcome or welcome back so i've been away uh, a while and uh, that's not away on holiday <laughs> i've been away from from my desk uh, for about a month i did nip on um, last week to do uh, the christmas collaboration with uh, rachel and bella uh, but apart from that, I've uh, not been on. You will have seen some videos, <clears throat> but um, they was filmed in the past. <laughs> so, uh, but I've physically uh, been away from, from my desk. So, <coughs> excuse me. I don't know how I'm going to be. I don't know if I'm going to be okay uh, crafting and chatting. I've got, you know, lots of things to talk about and tell you uh but it might take me a video or two to get back into into the chat and craft uh so we'll just see see how it goes um i'm unsure how i normally have my camera it's been that long so we'll see we'll see how we we go um let's talk about what we're going to going to make so for those of you who have been with me for a while and have been watching uh, the gentleman series um, this is uh, one of the new add-ons new meaning um, you know it's it's the newest one it's not out now this second it was out um, a month or so ago and these are um, you know these aren't size down or anything this is the size um they print out because i wanted them for um smaller journals or uh folios or mini lap books um so on uh a four these come out at um i hate centimeters i'll do centimeters for those who you who like it around 17 centimeters uh which is six and three quarter inches so that's uh height by just under five um which is about 12 and a half centimeters so it's a really nice um size um it saves all that measuring you know they're already printed out and you can just cut round them so i've printed them uh i think probably twice yeah it looks like i've printed them um twice and i'm just gonna see what i can make with them um <laughs> and we'll see we'll see what happens so uh that's the kit you also get some uh spines some different uh size spines i do have a gentleman's playlist which i will put uh in the description and there's videos to uh the full gentleman's kit and uh the add-on kits so that's what we're going to be doing today now i've got um is it chipboard this is quite quite thick well i don't know if it's quite thick oh my eyes aren't very good i would say that's about two and a half three three millimeters um you can use book board you know the books that you take two bits and cut around them you can use uh cereal packs and you know maybe stick two or three together um anything just that you've got you know a cover type thing i did cut these <laughs> the wrong size for some some strange reason so I, I will stick them down and then i will have to cut um around them which you know it's not it's not a problem it would have been nice if i hadn't have done that but i did so I think what I'm going to start off by doing is just using two and we'll make um, a cover for a journal. I'm just checking check, check those two um, are the right size. Um, I them to the same. So I'll use one of these spines which is 
Civilic. Yeah, one inch. So that's going to be um, a journal. So let's pick out um, what we can use for, for the cover. So I don't want them going that away. A lot of them do go that way. Even though that's a pattern and it is going that way, it's fine um, using it that way. I really do um, love that pattern. So we could use that. Maybe that might be better as a cover if I want to decorate it. could do that as, as the back. Yeah, that would be, be nice. That would be my spine, like so. So I'm going to want two insides as well, aren't I? Do, do, do. So I could maybe use that darker one. In fact, I'll use the darker one on the back and I'll use that on the inside. And we'll use one of those. So that's going to be for a little journal. I'm just going to put that to one side. Um, let's think about some kind of folio. Um, so let's have a think. So if that was like so. So if we used three and add a spine there and there, that would you know, open out do, 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 like so. So you'd have a spine, spine, um, which is a nice, a nice one. So if I had a wider spine on the first one, no, I would want the f a smaller one like so. So that would go like so. This one could be a bigger one, like so. I think you would need the same size, wouldn't you? Oh no, because I think I would have a journal in that one. So I would have the wider one in there, so we could have a journal in there. It's not the same size it is. I mean I can cut cut this down. I don't have to keep it as it is. That could be there. So that would have my little journal inside. And then I would want it joined to that one so it comes around okay so this is going to be um, a triple one and then I'll have to make some more spines because I'll do one uh, with four as well so let's um, let's think which is going to be the front it's going to be that side I think <laughs> No, you know, it doesn't really, doesn't really matter. So let's just put that there, and then if it ends up being the front, that's that's good. So I could definitely um, have these sideward um, images on the inside. Let's do that like that. Um, and then perhaps that one because it's got the grey and the black in it so I feel that that um, ties it in so that would go like so so when that's closed you would see that one that so what do we want on there Ooh, is that a bit more Bit more gorge. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go for that one. Yeah. So do that. Um 
So obviously you can use any size uh, base, any size papers. I've done these before in uh, different sizes. I think I did something like a, a five by seven and a seven by uh, eight. If you know, I might be totally uh, wrong, but um, they're the sizes what kind of spring to to mind. So that could go there. Then that would go over there. I think that would be the front. And that would be uh, the back. So, there, side pictures. Probably just put... Let's put that one on the back. So, that would be our one with uh, three. Okay. So that's that one, and let's have a look at a four one. So I've done far too many uh, boards. I don't know if I've got enough uh, printouts. So we've got four. Like I say, I'm going to have to do some more spines. So I won't. Um... um worry about you know what spines going going where I mean obviously I can change these around this is just make sure I've got enough and um, maybe do that and just to give me a rough idea of how it's going to going to go Don't know about that one. Could have another plane. Oh, that goes very nice with with that one. So how would this fold? I suppose we would go like that, like that. Oh, so this would be like um like a mini um lap book. Oh yeah, that would be nice. See. So, Excuse me, these will be um, my insides. So let's have the, the greys there. We will close it. That will be my front, which I think I will do a plain and then I can decorate it. And let's do another plain, okay? So I think the spines what I will use for that. I'll probably go with one inch. So I could cut that down. How many do I think I only need three? So I've probably got got enough. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a journal. Um a three. And <laughs> I, I don't think it would be a three fold, um, but um yeah, three size, a try. Uh, folio and um, a quad <laughs> folio so I shall save these because these will be ideal um, for small journals and I will use those as a uh, journal cards so um, I need to I need to have a lay down after, after that um, yeah I'm gonna have a little thing I'm going to attach a uh, one of them with um this is like craft paper um tape so i'm going to attach one with that i'm going to attach one um with some thin material and what shall i do the other one with i could do lace let's have a, let's have a look I've got some black lace. Black lace might be better. Or I think that might be too chunky. Need something quite thin. Let's um yeah, let's grab the 
black lace because I've not been in here um, I do need to like go around and just touch everything and uh, feel everything and see see where everything lives I'm a bit like Ooh, where is everything um, so I've got this uh, black lace which uh, Denise sent me from Junk Journals Junk oh I think she's took that bit out of her name but you, you know who I mean and um, it should be in the description down below her link well so we'll do one with each of those I'll move this out of the way so it doesn't um, confuse me but yes really I could have done with half an hour in here um before I started videoing and just had um, a look you know because you put things in certain places don't you for certain things you go well I'll put that over there for such and such and um, obviously, you know, I've forgotten why I've put certain things in in certain places. So that's how we're going to attach them. I've got some um, metallic gilding polish uh, and this is in uh, chocolate bronze. So I'm going to go around the edges um, with that. I think I want to use the darkest ink I've got, which will be walnut stain i think i was thinking about getting um the espresso one which i didn't um so yeah we'll use that so i'm going to need a dobber hmm, that's not a very good contact one that's not got one on where do i keep these oh my goodness i have right so we'll put a I'll put a new dabber on. I'm guessing all my glues are going to be, um, you know, blocked up and, and things. I don't know why that tapes here. Yeah, that's that. Um, I, I never hardly use that. I must be planning on using it. So what else do we need? We need some glue. I'm going to stick... Um, the paper onto the board with clout um thingy would be very good as well and thingy is um four in one i forget the other word um that we call it uh fabric tack i wouldn't use um cosmic shimmer or the other one the white one which I don't have any of because that dries very quick um you'll want you know a bit of movement so you can get it into place now it doesn't so much matter for me because obviously I'm gonna have to cut mine back down to size but if you've cut yours perfect uh, then you would be best to use a glue that you can have a bit of a a bit of a slip um around because it just makes it easier so I think that's that's everything I need. Um, so I think I'll do the journal with the lace. And um, we'll spend the time doing the construction. These videos are going to be up today, tomorrow and the following day. This video will be out on the Friday. So if you're um, one of my American ladies or gentlemen, happy Thanksgiving Day. I hope you enjoy your day with, you know, your family or, or friends or alone if, if um, you choose. And um, yeah, just be thankful for, you know, the air that we breathe and... Um, the beautiful nature and the lovely things around us so i hope you have a lovely day no matter what what you do so i think it would be better to put this on first before i uh, put the sides these on because So I need to join that to that, like so. I could just use one piece, but that would be, oh, yeah, maybe. So, yeah, 
So I could do it like that and then stick these on after. Or I could stick these on first and then put that over the top. I think because I'm doing a lot of thinking <laughs> because this is uh, quite pretty. Um, it's not something I want to hide. Whereas that, I would probably stick those down first and then stick that down. So with this one, I'm going to stick these down first and then um, attach the front and the back and the spine. So, I forgot which <laughs> what goes where and who goes what. I think was we doing, well, we was doing a lighter or a dark, wasn't we, on there. So, yeah, the too tall and the too thin. So, if I glue it on here, I need to not go right to the top. So we don't I don't want glue oozing out everywhere so if I go like that and then we'll fill it fill it in um the other ones when I'm doing this part of it um I will pause or stop the video and do it um you know off camera because you know, I appreciate you don't want to see this step several times. Now, thinking about it, I could leave the width, not cut that down, because once my spine's on, I can obviously wrap something around there. So I'm not going to cut those down. All I'm going to do is, is cut that paper down and that will save me getting my metal ruler out and uh, my knife and cutting down each uh, one because that is the way I would have done it so I want to leave that to uh, dry before I cut that down because I don't want it to to move okay so I think that will probably be our front um, let's do this one Got some hair there um, do I want to say anything else about this project? Um, I don't think so. We'll just we'll just see see how it develops. Um, this is going to be the last project that oh I've come right to the top that I do uh, with the gentleman kit. I will then be putting it away. Um, I will be using some elements in my next. Um, um, kit that I'm using because I'm going to be using so that will be fair okay just figuring out which which way because I don't want you know the gap there on one side and the gap there on the other side and I'm going to be using the Midnight Meadow kit um, so you might be familiar with uh, Memories of the Meadow uh, the Midnight Meadow is uh, sepias and, um, you know, very similar tones to this kit. So I can definitely use some of the um, ephemera, um, like embellishment pieces. So, you know, the numbers and the labels, um, words, numbers rulers um you know that kind of thing i can use it in in the other one so i will be using um some of it okay so that's going to be the front end and the back and this is going to be our inside so i think i'll have that one at the front so I'll go down here. I keep going really uh, down. You you'll have to bear with me until I found my um, bearings again. My desk um, awareness. <laughs> I might have to take uh, my desk awareness course all over again. <laughs> 
so let's um let's get that down um i was supposed to go for an optician's appointment because i'm due some i should have cut that off first but it doesn't matter um i'm due some new glasses and i'm really struggling um with these older ones but i did have some some kind of um flu on top of all the other things that have been been going off so um i did end up cancelling um my appointment and you know now we're obviously on the run up to christmas and life's just really busy at the moment and i know that i should prioritize it um and i probably do need to to look in my diary and and see if i've got a spot but um you know it means going once you're obviously there about two hours and then you have to go again either the week after or a fortnight after um you know for the actual fitting of your new glasses um and i don't go into town very often i only live let's say seven miles away from um nottingham city center um, but i just don't i don't go very often so that is going to be our cover so I, I will pause for a little while wait till they really dry and then um i'll cut that off and yeah and then i'll come back um and we'll we'll do do the next part. I'm not worried about you know these gaps. I would have preferred if they hadn't been there, but we can disguise that with the distressing or the gilding polish. You could pop some paint on there. You could ignore it. <laughs> you could put a bit of lace on there. You know you can do lots of things to to cover those imperfections so i'm gonna have a drink of my coffee while i'm on pause have you seen my massive mug i don't know if you, you'll be able to uh, appreciate how big big it is but um yeah it's big <laughs> um yeah so i've got normal size hands and um yeah it's very big um i found it on amazon i've been looking for a big mug for ages I know in America you have lots of big mugs and things. Uh, we don't seem to. And if they are, they're kind of jokey um, ones, um, you know, for workmen and things like that. Um, but I found this one on Amazon and uh, they did it in quite a few different colours. I will put uh, the link in the description if you're up for a big cup. Perfect for uh, crafting. And um, I don't know, I really ought to keep my, you know, that on the top just to keep it um, warm because um, it, it's a lot to drink. Okay, enough waffling. I will be back in a little tick. If you're interested to see uh, the other ones that I made, I think one is in uh, the Tim Holtz playlist and i think the other playlist is just that project um if i remember right um i did it with the graphics 45 <clears throat> i think it was called cottage life um very very pretty it was pink and uh, blues with uh, a dash of green so um yeah you can if I remember I will put them at the top of the the description if they're not there then um yeah you'll be able to find them in the Tim Holtz playlist and hopefully um there's a single playlist uh for for that and that does remind me I need to go on my actual YouTube page and um create some more playlists on there so if you go to my actual page um normally they're quite organized and and things um so i will update that in the next week or or so um so i'll put that on my to-do list i'm just roughly going round uh with this ink 
just to you know make it look like one complete piece instead of uh, two pieces of card stuck onto another piece of card and that's why I wanted to use the darker the darker ink so that's that and that's that I think this would look nice with some uh, metal corners on I'm just going to see if I can just ink oh that down just a little a little bit and thank you to whoever's been just been in my shop um the bell's quite surprising at the moment because um it it's been so so quiet on on the Etsy front and I know you know I'm not not the only um, one it does always go quiet at this year but um it's definitely the most quiet it's ever been um in the last i don't know three four years since since i've had at sea so yeah when it does go off it's um, it, it makes me jump so that's toned tone that down a little bit okay and i'll do the same with this so originally um if you remember, um, I was having some work done um, on the house. Um, I've been in this house 16 years. Um, the boiler had been in a long time before uh, we moved in. There was nothing wrong with the boiler. Um, but, you know, it had been on in well over um, 20 years. Um I'd got the same bathroom suite in that had probably been in the house probably, you know, 30 years or no, not as long as that. A good 20 years anyway. And um, I didn't have a shower. Um, to have a shower, I needed to, I mean, I say it like I did. You know, I've done the work. I've not physically done done the work. Um, I planned it, but I didn't physically do the work. Um, <laughs> when when the workman's here, I mean, it is a friend of ours, and I'll say, yes, next we'll do such and such. Um, and I say to him, like, it, it's it's as if you know I, I'm doing the work, um, not you. So um, yeah, he's not not been here for the last couple of of days anyway back to the um thing so i wanted a shower and to get some extra space in the bathroom uh, the boiler needed to be moved so you know i guess it was a perfect time to have uh, a new new boiler um so that was removed um it was sat in like a wooden cupboard in the bathroom which um, was used as you know storage for my towels my toiletries um, toilet paper cleaning things for the bathroom so obviously all that had to be moved out and new homes found for these things um, and it was moved downstairs into my kitchen oh that's nice down that head into my kitchen uh, pantry so that only took I think two days or something um to to do and then the bathroom needed uh fully replastering um i've done it that there's no light switch in the bathroom no plugs in the bathroom everything's um outside the bathroom in the hallway i think that's i think that's done okay let's stop talking a little second and we'll see what we're doing doing next so yeah i'm quite happy um with that still some bits here but obviously we're going to go over it with the gilding polish so that's our cover and this is going to be um my spine so i'm going to cut it off around there because i would like all three bottles um in there and let's <clears throat> let's use the trimmer i have to just look around where where it lived um totally forgotten where it lived so if i cut it about there and i'll use a pencil 
to market if I can find her pencils left. Okay, so I'm just going to put that right at the top and that we'll probably end up covering covering over it but um if we start off with a nice one then if it doesn't get covered then that's a bonus it, it will look nice obviously i now need to ink around that you're probably sick sick of seeing me inking um yeah so all the plastering was done, um, you know, electrics taken out and new ones put in. Um, and then all the walls and floor was covered in. It's a little bit like laminate flooring. Um, I forget what it's called. It's like clicking something. So it's very much like large tiles, but it all clicks um, together. So there's no grout into to clean and, and all that um, stuff. So that was done. Um, and I think, you know, it took longer to come than it was supposed to and, you know, all that good stuff. Let's just check. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to put it as straight as, as my eye can see. And I say I because I am partially sighted. Um, I, I probably have about, oh, I don't know, 10% um, sight in my right eye. Okay. So I think... I find it hard to, you know, um, look at things and um, get them straight and, you know, putting that down to, <laughs> to my eyesight. So, I think that looks okay. Now, I could still use, like, a tape because we've got um, that bit. You know, I wouldn't go onto the paper, but I'm... I'm hoping that this will still, will still fit, and it will. So I'm going to cut it off roughly. Oh, won't be big enough. Hey, it will. Will it? Yeah, crikey. Um, and I'm going to do it that the frill part is at the front. So if I put some glue down that a bit, what glue shall I use I'm going to use Fabri-Tac even though I'm not the greatest fan of it I don't like the shine um, that it leaves but you know it does what it says <laughs> it does stick fabric so if I run some down this edge like so and I'm really sorry I'm aware that I have hit the camera about three times now with my um with the corner of my spectacles um I'm hoping that I've not actually moved to the camera um I will have a look um in a minute so I'm just gonna line that up against that paper like so and just rub my finger across to try and take you know a bit of that excess off so excess not access um so it doesn't shine okay so on this bit i'm gonna actually use the cosmic shimmer because i don't need it to stick straight away really well, it'd be nice if it did, but um, it will dry clear, it won't be shiny, and I think it's it's the right glue for the job. 
We've now got three glues on the gate. Right, so let's pull that over so I can kind of I'm going to turn it over, which I should have done in the first place. That would have been really smart. So I can see there, look, I've left. Um, I don't know, a little bit. <laughs> I've left a little, a little space. So it will go like that. That's probably a little bit too much. Okay, let's have a look at, yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, so that is that bit. And seeing as being smart, <laughs> I'm going to do that that way as well. Um, so I'm going to cover this again in the fabric tack like so. Okay, and oops, sorry, as soon as I've done this, I'm going to um, move the camera slightly. I'm just in the zone at the minute. Okay. sure that's straight what's happened here that's it okay and then down here I'm just going to get this nozzle in and yep do the you know this the sticky out bit the scallop that is that's the correct the correct word Okay, so I'm going to leave that to to dry. I wish I'd have pulled that down a little bit, but not to worry. So, yeah, I'm going to leave that to, to dry um, and then I'll come back. We'll cut that off. Yeah, I like that. And maybe that's a little bit too two out so they meet fine yeah that's fine okay so I'll leave that to, to dry and I'll be back in a little minute and um, I'll just move the camera a little bit so I don't keep knocking it with, <laughs> with the edge of my glasses Okay, that's dry enough now to, to cut. You can still uh, see the white because it's not totally uh, dry, but it's definitely dry enough to, to cut. So I'm going to cut down here. I mean, I could take that over because I'm going to be putting lace on there. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh my goodness, um, which I think I'll do. I will cut the, the bottom one off, but I think that'll give that um, a nice edge because I don't need it to, you know, glue down straight away. I'm just going to use uh, the Cosmic Shimmer. sticky <laughs> sticky your hands get. so let's cut cut this off at the bottom if it had been long enough um i'd have obviously turned this end over too i hope that uh, views a little bit better i'm guessing over the next few videos the view is going to keep changing until until i feel that it's um right again Okay, where did I get to with my bathroom story? So yeah, there was a bit of a hold up um, with with that, uh, with the walls and, 
uh, floor uh, and then I decided to have a bath and um, shower unit so it's a bit like um, like a kidney um, shaped bath um, and it's got two showers inside like a rain shower and um, another shower <laughs> um, and it's got a steam function which you can put aromatherapy in. Okay, sorry about that. I had to just pause why why Colin was having a bark. I think maybe the post has just arrived or somebody's, you know, just happened to walk down the street. How dare they? So I've just glued uh, that bit down. Again, I've done it with the Cosmic Shimmer and I'm just going to lift this scallop up and put some glue down there um so yeah i said about the aromatherapy and it the bus got some jets in um so it's like a, it, it's like being at the spa it's amazing and it's been a right pain <laughs> for my um for my maintenance man to um, <laughs> fit it, it's um, <laughs> really got on his nerves. Apparently, after I bought it, we did look at the reviews, and <laughs> it got really bad reviews for you know the fitting um, side side of it, um, like nothing made sense, nothing fits, <laughs> and all the rest of it. So it was a nightmare for him, and it took. A lot longer uh, than than we was expecting it's also got uh, a radio in there and flashing lights and it's got Bluetooth so you know there's lots of electricals plumbing and all the rest of that so I think we ended up being without um, a bath <laughs> for about three weeks which um, was absolute rubbish Save so that that's fine. So all we need to do is uh, wait for that to, to dry. How pretty is that? That's lovely. So while it's drying, we can uh, do the gilding polish. Now, I did hear that um, if you put your finger in, it makes it um, all hard. So I tend not to uh, put my finger in I got these I think they're supposed to be for glue um, I got them from Amazon I think they're on my favorites if you can't find them uh, give me a shout and I'll um, add them to my favorites you can wash them so you don't have to uh, throw them away I'll probably use them a couple of times and then um, throw them throw them away but um, they're nice and they're nice and handy so I just put it in in this bit so I'm just going to put some on my finger Let's, um, and I'm going to just dab it round the top first Um, yeah, so then once the shower was in, um, I had new, new lighting in there, I had some uh, spotlights in there uh, with a fan, because I hadn't got a fan in there before, and I've got a very mouldy uh, bathroom before, so um, I thought having a fan was, was really important, so I'm, I'm just bringing it just down a little bit and we'll do the top of, of this one i'm trying not to um you know finger everywhere let's do do this side why it's why it's here okay i do love this uh color it's um you know a brown but it's got that um goldy 
um, shimmery but not not um, you know glittery kind of look which I really really like Um, yeah, and then we needed a new radiator putting in there. So it's ended up being uh, quite a long um, job. That is all finished um, now. And um, I asked him if he would do the hallway. So he's just painted all the hallway uh, in grey and put some new new lighting up um, and I'm going to have some uh, spotlights where the stairs are because I find the stairs quite quite dark and um, yeah like I say my eyesight's not great and um, it's it's been getting worse so you know I really don't want to fall down down the stairs so I'm going to try and go down this edge which I can't really see but <laughs> uh, yeah and obviously all the woodwork needed doing and I don't know I think we've got about six doors on the hallway up and down stairs so all those was done and new handles put on again you know they'd had the same handles probably for about 30 years um so now we're just waiting for the carpet um i'm not having carpet down the actual stairs i've had um <laughs> you you might laugh <laughs> garage uh paint on the stairs so that's a, a really dark uh, grey because, you know, Colin's up and down. Um, he is a smelly dog and I really didn't want to have to be um, rubbing the staircase and, and stuff to, to clean um, the carpet. So I'm just having carpet on the top landing, the bottom landing and the first step, which is like quite a big um, step. So, yeah, we're just waiting for that and then that will be uh, done. I'm going to have to wait for this to dry before I can turn it over. So, I can't sit here for 20 minutes with <laughs> gold or bronze, bronze finger. I am not going into um, singing um, James Bond. <laughs> I have done that before. <laughs> so, I, I don't feel the need to, to do that again um yeah the front rooms the bedrooms wasn't too too bad ryan had painted them i don't know about two years ago um and everywhere's gray different shades of gray um so they didn't need uh doing um the front room doesn't need doing but um we've had one of those fan lights um, our summers seem to be getting hotter um, so I thought maybe having one of those uh, fan lights would be a good idea so it's put uh, that up and um, yeah then we're going to be totally demolishing um, the kitchen and um, you know getting getting that modernised um, there's definitely not been a new kitchen in there for about 25 uh, years all the handles have fell off and you know it's really uh, dated and and things so yeah that's kind of where i'm at with um the the decorating uh side and you know even though i haven't physically done it it's been a lot of you know looking at paint and door handles and lighting and um carpet and you know ordering these things and picking these things up and um so yeah quite quite time consuming and um head consuming <laughs> thinking about um things right i shall be back again in a little while and uh we'll do the other side and um yeah and then 
will join the others well i'll just show you uh, with the tape and the material and then the inking and the sticking uh the what do you call those they're um mats um i will do that off off camera and then obviously when we come back tomorrow um we'll be able to to carry on with them and the the bare bones will be will be done so i shall again be back in a little tick um we could start and think about uh the front the front cover i don't think i've got anything actually made for it um this is um things that we've made along uh the way i've got lots of uh collage things uh these are napkin things I've done them all on uh videos i think they'll be too big for the front which is unfortunate really need to you know do a video probably decorating um all these um but yes i found i don't know I, I must have come in here looking at something and i did find a bag with um all these things in them and i'd totally um forgotten about them this is all you know tea stained things which i've uh, backed i wonder if that's supposed to be a pocket or something i don't know I think I was getting ready for, for doing um, a video and obviously then, then I went went off. Oh, can remember I was making notes? They might look um, nice on the front. Let's keep those out. Oh. That was a, I was going to stick that down in a folio. I might be able to stick that down in one of these folios because it's got a little, um, you know, we did this in a, a trash it video. I'm going to keep that, that out. That's a pocket. I ought to really keep some of these out because I might use them. That's probably too wide. That's probably too wide. <laughs> They're probably all too wide. Yes. So these things will I'll still be able to use them um for the uh midnight meadow kit. I never decorated that. So they're decorated. They're not. I mean saying that they're not decorated, decorated. Oh yeah, I've got those as well. So these would be ideal for the covers. So we did these. These were some clusters with uh, dangles on. Again, you'll find that in um, the Tim Arts, um or Gentleman. They was uh, paper clips. So that's finished. Oh, that was a little band. Put some paper in there. Yeah, so these, I can definitely decorate these up um, for the Midnight Meadow. So yeah, lots of stuff. Probably done most of this stuff on uh, Trash Tuesdays or I think I'll start doing them on a Thursday instead of a Tuesday. I have paper clips, another one of those, oh that's nice, so that's finished, oh sketchbook, hmm, that can go there, I am, that might be nice on the front of, I'll keep that out, pocket, what's that little card, so that one's a decorated. It's decorated. My plans. I'll keep that out. Paper clips. Oh, that was um, a little tie thing. 
might be able to use that as a tie round this journal. I'll keep that out. That one's decorating a day book. I've got the big mason jar. They was a, a freebie on my uh, coffee page if um, you've not downloaded those. We've got something that we made in. I don't know how it goes. But um, yeah, so that one's decorating. Hmm. I only need to um, decorate some, some things I probably don't need to make. Um, any ephemera really um, for the midnight um, project because yeah I've got loads of um, bases pocket and po pockets that what are these oh more paper clips another little band Go that. I didn't mean to do this. <laughs> I'm just, um, yeah. So that's that. More paper clips, paper clips, paper clips, another mason jar. Right. Oh, and then I've got all these um, bands, and then these are all bigger pieces which can be used for something. Let's put those there. Pocket. That was a pocket. There, we'll put that in there. More stuff to finish. Those bags are from my shop, Etsy shop, and I do them in two sizes. So yeah, this is all, um, you know, tea dyed stuff. I've got all those tickets from that taperology, um, which I was going to do uh, tea stain them on my desk. If you saw my uh, tea staining at your desk video. So if I put all those, because they're like tea stained or just plain bases, put those there. Oops. That one's going in there. Then if I put those taller pieces there, and I've got some more tall pieces here, which I was going to do in the gentleman and and didn't get round to it, but um, I can do that another time. But yeah, that's what I really need to do. I need to go through all my little things and see what's what's what and um, who's who. So if I put the smaller things back down in that bottom and then I suppose everything else just needs um, a little bit of uh, decoration. It's kind of ready to use but just needs uh, finishing. They're really not finished are they? Where did they go? There. Where did all those tags go? I've gone, I've gone crazy, haven't I? I don't know where I've just put them. Right, um, that can go there. So they want to create an, and those. Oh, that's a lot better. Right, so let's have a look at these um, fingers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Probably all gonna all gonna go. Mm, I prefer those two. Mm, I prefer those two. Oh, he's lovely. But again, prefer those two. And I only need one. <laughs> Or we've got the, which can be a journal card as well. So, no, I'm not going to use that. So, it's between uh, this one. And I can obviously put some black lace um, underneath it. Or uh, that one. 
I think I prefer that one and then put some some black um poking poking out so that's going to be um our cover bit shall we say they can go back in there so i wonder let's just undo um this i think this has got some papers um tied in it and then i think i used the papers and um didn't use this tie so that could go like that that could go over the top like that bring that round yeah I'm gonna do that so I hope um, that wax is dry so I'm gonna use the um, the three in one and stick this down. Okay. And got it right on the edge. Okay. Let's figure out. Oops, sorry, have it. It's it again with my glasses. Do we want it further down, or do we want that? Let's move that. I can rub that to to get that bit of glue off. Sort that out. That's it. Yeah, I like that. Come on, sit still. Let's, um, did I not have any scrap lace left? I obviously didn't. Let's cut. Let's cut three off. I'm obviously not using. All that and just seeing where it would be would be best. I think probably down that side or down that bottom. Yeah, I like that. Cut one off. And that can go there. Okay. So I'm going to pop some glue. I could cut this um, lace in half a bit and, and use the scrap, but um, it would be the uglier part of, of the lace. So, you know, the nicest bits, obviously, going to be on show. Let's clear that bit down like so I'll finish um, the gilding bit off um, off camera as soon as I've started that this yeah I like that I don't think I want anything else so yeah this was like a piece of Tim Holtz some note paper a um, little piece of uh, coffee dyed ephemera some netting, um, some cheesecloth, uh, button dye and a little label from uh, Tina at Shabby Dabby Doo Dart. And then, you know, the hole punched out. Um, I think there's, was there a metal thing on it? Yeah, um, I forget what they're called. And um, yeah, then a ball pin and just like a little circle uh, charm so that's how they was made but like I say there there is a video okay so make sure oh, that's straight make sure that strings straight 
Oop. I think I want it a little bit, a little bit wonky. So I'm gonna press that, press that down. Okay, so I think that's the, the cover done. Um, let me just see how long, I've, oh sorry, this video is just over an hour. So that brings me to, if anybody's still here, um, so I will say it in, in the next video. So I'm not going to be doing as many videos. Um, at the minute I am planning on doing them uh, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Obviously you know if i do more there'll be more if i do less i will probably not do the friday it will just be a saturday and sunday and um yeah they are going to be longer videos but um less so i know some people have uh you know trouble watching longer videos but um you know obviously you can pause it and come back to it um when when you have the time um i don't think you'll um you know get behind in in watching me because i just won't be doing um as as many videos because um i ha i am learning how to do um digitals on on my own um so that's going to be you know a new venture for me in the new year obviously um i was doing collaborations with uh Nineen, so um i was kind of the idea person and she was the one who physically made them um so now i'm learning you know how to physically make them so you know they're not going to be as uh, wonderful as uh Nanine's, you know backgrounds and all that layering um you know hopefully one day um i'll learn those techniques um so yeah i've i've made one kit which will be um out i don't know maybe in december um we'll see um so i don't think um me or denise will have time to work with the kit until january uh but i might bring it out be beforehand um yeah and we'll just see see how they are um What's the word? See how they're um, not introduced. See how they're... I forget the word, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, and hopefully I will learn and progress and, and things. I really like this. So that is, is the cover. Um, so we've not got a lot of string to, to play with, obviously, but there's there's enough. I will cut this one off so they're both uh, the same. I need to uh, put the gilding around there. And I don't know if to put corners on or, or not. It is a little bit wobbly, but that will be uh, fine. Um, what is it? A one inch? So, I mean, we could put two signatures in or we could put three tiny ones i think i'm i think i'm thinking <laughs> uh two um i don't know maybe six six seven pages each one um am i going to do it as a blank journal or am i going to decorate it let's decorate it so yeah i'll probably put six um pages and we'll probably do a couple of like flip out um elements and um yeah i'm not going to put a lot of pockets in there probably just really thin ones um i've got these cards still here if you watch the uh collaboration i stuck a couple together which i, I didn't finish because i thought they would be um ideal for um this gentleman's kit so yeah i'm thinking quite thin uh pockets uh so that would be be ideal um i did this one which is side 
and this one which is like a tuck and you can stick it down three sides and have it as, as a pocket um, as well. So I think we'll use those and decorate um, those. So I'm going to leave that as a video. I've really enjoyed uh, coming back. So I've given you the whole DIY story. So I feel like I'm up to date uh, with that. So probably tomorrow I'll go through our um, being poorly and, uh, you know, what else we've, we've been up to. And then I'll feel that um, we're kind of back to current times. I want to thank you all very, very much for being here for spending your time uh, with me i really do appreciate it for those of you who support me on patreon um who come to youtube give me a like and leave me a comment thank you so much uh all the members on the coffee page thank you so much uh for your support and um you you guys and gals on the facebook group who you know post and um engage um, with other people's posts I really do appreciate it I'm, I'm very very grateful uh, to you all so thank you have a lovely uh, day uh, weekend um, whatever your plans are if you've got some plans uh, do let me know and um, yeah have a, have a nice time and the most important thing is make sure you get time to put your feet up <laughs> so until tomorrow uh, i will see you then bye for now